Hey, what's up? It's your boy Bear. It's been a minute. I just want to say I wish I, uh, I wish everybody a happy new year. I hope everybody was blessed. I hope your families are well. And I'm looking forward to what the new year brings. So without further ado, I did a little concoction uh, with some leftover food that I had from uh, New Year's Day. I, Truth be told, I saw somebody else do this. And I just uh, did it a little differently and made it my own. Uh, it's called arroz apastelado. And Spanish. that is... And the, on, the only way I can translate it is like a rice loaf, a stuffed rice loaf. All right. Stick with me. Watch it. Let me know if you enjoy it. Maybe even try it. I'll talk to you guys soon. Here's the vid. Let's go with our ingredients. Three cups of rice. About five cups of masa. About two cups of pastel meat. We have our mold to put the mixture in and our banana leaves to uh, cover the mold in. And we have our mixing bowl. And that's how we're gonna start, okay? We're gonna get together and uh, we're gonna start mixing the, the masa first, which is just basically ground bananas. I get the masa in there. Okay, I'm gonna speed this bit up a bit, guys, because uh, some of this stuff is, uh, it's not rocket science. Okay, we get the rice in there, which is three cups. So it's equal parts rice to masa. We get uh, we give it a nice, good stir. You can use a spoon, a tablespoon, a big spoon, uh, a mixing uh, spoon, whatever you have. It's it's fine, just as long as the rice is nice and mixed. As you can see, I'm getting all of it, and uh, the ground bananas are are mixed in really well with the rice. I get my banana leaves, which were previously made pliable by placing them on top of the stove on direct heat and warming them up. Okay, I get the, uh, the banana leaves into the mold and I try to cover the mold as best as I can. The banana leaves give the, uh, the flavor of the food a nice earthy texture to it. Now I use a little sauce or gravy, whatever you want to call it, uh, to put and to put uh, into the mold on directly on the banana leaves because it gives it a nice little touch of flavor and it keeps it moist. I start putting my mixture in. And uh, as soon as I get my mixture in, I try to pat it down as best as I can so that uh, every bit of the mold is covered and it gives it a nice shape. Okay. Smoothing it out as best as I can. And you can only do your best, guys. Uh, you know, uh, you can only do your best. And usually your best is good enough. All right, so we got a layer of meat going down. I, and I'm kind of greedy, so I used every little last drop I had. All right, so uh, uh, look at that. It looks good already. All right, so I get the rest of the rice in. And... Uh, you smoothen it out, pat it down, smoothen it out. Uh, if you see any little bit of gravy or anything, you make sure uh, you put some more rice on top and and uh, you smoothen it out so you, your, your layers stay intact. All right. Um, I'm going to smoothen this out now. I'm going to pat it in as best as I can. And uh, I want the mold of the rice to have a nice little shape to it. Okay, so uh, do the best you can. All right now, after we pat it down, after it has a nice, uh, it's nice and and pressed in. You cover the, uh, you fold over the banana leaves and cover the rice. Get a little aluminum foil. Uh, you cover it on top, and uh, you get it ready for the oven. All right, make sure you cover it nicely, okay? And that's it, guys. Pretty simple. Leftovers is how we roll, guys. It's how we roll, baby. <laughs> okay? All right. We'll be moving on to the next step in about two seconds. All right. Preheat the oven, 350. And truth be told, um, the recipe called for a half hour, but I think it's going to take a little longer. All right. I had it in for a half hour and I'm going to take it out. Let's check it out right now. 
and see what it looks like. All right, and let's open this bad boy up. Um, guys, you know how I get when I'm about to eat. So uh, needless to say, I was feeling really happy. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at that. It looks nice. It looks nice. All right, you start peeling it back. That's right. All right, and you flip it over just like you would a cake or anything else. All right. All right. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> you know, that's just me being anxious. Ah, oh, I see a mistake. I see things not going well for me there. You saw that little bit of juice on the side. That means that the rice had a lot of moisture in it. And I really didn't want that. But I was so hungry that, uh, that I, and I was so hungry and anxious, I wanted to pull it back and hop right to it. All right. As you can see, it looks really good. And it took the shape of the mole perfectly. Um, but it's not, I have to be honest, it's not exactly what I wanted. Uh, I wanted a little bit of crunch on the outside of the rice. I wanted it to have a nice layer of crunch. And then I wanted the inside nice and soft. So I'm going to say that taking it out at a half hour was a fail. Uh, but uh, as we all know, we learn by our mistakes. So what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm, I, I unwrapped it. Oh, that was another mistake. I unwrapped it knowing that it didn't have the crunch that I wanted it to have. Uh, but uh, again, uh, mistakes is how we learn. All right. So what I'm going to do is I am going to recover this and put it back in the oven. Okay. I recovered it. I put it, it back into the oven and I put it in for another half hour. And now this is the finished product. Here we go. And we are about to try it. And let's see what happens. Oh my. There we go. Look at that. The rice has that flavor. I know the rice is going to have that flavor from the banana. And look at that layer of meat right in the middle. Looking good. Shit is hot. We could have done without the, the shit is hot. <laughs> well. That's good. That's really good. You gotta do this. <laughs> what you do with <laughs> with New Year's Eve leftovers, arro con andule leftover, patel meat, and masa de patele. That's what we did. See you.